In many organizations, adhering to a very strict compliance policy is pretty much key to doing business and continuing to work. Now, one of the things that's difficult about that is these particular policies can have all kinds of minor permutations and ways to remedy them and then settings that need to be changed here or there. Keeping all of that straight can be difficult, especially if you're just working from a large list. One of the things that's great about Server Configuration Monitor is we can actually automate some of these, specifically those for DISA stick. So it's two parts, and the first thing we have to do is apply the policies. We'll begin at the SCM summary page. My dashboards, server, summary. And then we'll change some settings, so go to SCM settings. Unlike profiles, policies are built in a slightly different way and have a much larger data behind them. And for DSA Stig, we're going to go ahead and use one of these policies. So go to policies, select the one you'd like to apply. In this case, we'll use Windows Server, and assign to. You can see here a note that they have to be deployed with agents. So we can filter that the agent is deployed and that it is a server and we can choose whichever ones we like. Depending on the type of call that's being made, credentials may or may not be necessary. For the time being, we're going to skip them unless we're told otherwise. And assign. And we got the little note that the policies were successfully assigned. Now, if you want to dig in a little deeper and see what these policies are actually showing, we can just go back to my dashboards server configuration, and overall compliance summary. At the top level here, we can see that 34% of the rules have been passed. Not a great number, but there's always room for improvement. And one of the ways you can improve on that is actually looking at the policies in detail. And just as an example, we can go ahead and look at this first rule, which failed on four servers. We can see the servers where this failed and also the remediation steps so they no longer fail. SCM ships with a Windows server, a SQL server, and an IIS server policy. And what's nice about that is we'll include a version number. So if you realize you're behind, you can always download a new version and import it. Now in my example, I'm only running 34% compliant, and that's probably not good. But thankfully, I have all the remediation steps there so I can continue to make improvements. All of this is available and really easy to set up as you saw in Server Configuration Monitor.